androgen receptors and androgen sensitivity are important things to consider when it comes to um, not only optimizing testosterone production, but also the long-term maintenance of testosterone. Um, the long-term maintenance of your androgen receptors and your androgen activity um, will make a, a significant difference to uh, your testosterone levels as you get older. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some effective ways you can boost your androgen receptors naturally while, and increase your androgen sensitivity. Now, when it comes to the functioning of the male body, without androgen receptors, your testosterone is unable to perform its many roles and purposes within your body. Androgen receptors help with the processes that carry out these functions. The bottom line is, is you can have all the testosterone in the world, but you, it won't do you any favours because you can't, your body can't make any practical use of it. Decreased androgen activity will produce symptoms of low testosterone. Maintenance of your androgen receptivity is fundamental to the long-term maintenance of your testosterone production and your testosterone levels. Now, androgen receptors are a type of protein found in the cells throughout the body. They activate and control the expression of human genes by binding to androgen hormones such as testosterone. Now, they help to control the effect of androgens and uh, dehydrotestosterone or DHT in the male body. They also play a role in the balance of hormones within the male body. They play a significant role in the development of sexual characteristics, which for us men is masculine features like growing facial hair, um, help to increase our libido and reproductive function and also play a role in the functioning of the nervous system and the adrenal glands. Now, the adrenal glands are also important for hormone production because they are a part of the endocrine system. The androgen receptor gene is kind of part of the human DNA, and these are genes that instruct the body to produce the protein that eventually becomes the androgen receptor. Now, once they become bound to their specific hormone, which in the case of us men is testosterone, they interact with other proteins, which result in the necessary changes in the functions of those cells. Now, when it comes to our testosterone, androgen receptors are designed by nature to react to testosterone. When the testosterone becomes bound to these receptors, the hormone initiates the bodily process that interprets the gene's instructions that will carry out the biological functions within the body uh, for things like building muscle mass, bone density, hair growth, testicular functioning, libido, energy levels, um, physical performance, and even mental states too, you know, quite important. Now, the number of androgen receptors present in the cell, each cell, determine how sensitive the cell is to testosterone and this is what is meant by androgen sensitivity. The more androgen receptors present within the cells, the more androgen sensitive you are. Androgen sensitivity correlates to a stronger and more effective response to the hormone testosterone. If the cells have lower numbers of androgen receptors present, these receptors will be less sensitive and will not respond as effectively to testosterone. Testosterone relies upon androgen receptors to make the male ca characteristics. So increasing androgen receptors will enhance the effects that testosterone has on the body. Now, any deficiency in androgen receptors means that the body has lower levels of testosterone. Good levels of androgen receptors means that you will tend to have higher testosterone. Increased and androgen sensitivity correlates to you having higher levels of free testosterone. So care and maintenance of your androgen receptors and your androgen sensitivity are therefore vital to having optimum testosterone levels and maintenance of your androgen receptors will play a significant role in maintaining 
um, healthy testosterone levels as you get older. So this is very important and it needs your full attention. Fortunately, there are some methods and habits we can adopt into our lifestyle to promote the production of androgen receptors. Research has shown that testosterone levels and androgen sensitivity do not suffer any drastic decline in healthy older men. Now, the truth is that that age old myth that it's all downhill after four, the age of 40 is not completely true, provided you pay attention to leading a healthy lifestyle, provided you treat your body as an entire organism and stop following the advice of these clickbaity videos telling you about miracle supplements that are never going to do anything for you really in the long term. Now, the, by far the most effective way of increasing androgen receptivity is fit, intense physical act, activity. And the most effective exercises are uh, resistance training or weight training, but carried out in an intense manner that results in an elevated heart rate. Um, high intensity interval training and circuit training can also be extremely useful for this purpose. These types of training are more likely to result in an increased number of androgen receptors. The important consideration for androgen sensitivity is that the chosen training method is done at a level of intensity that induces an elevated heart rate. It seems that from the research, this factor of it being that intense, that it increases the rate of your heart is quite important. Eating a healthy, well-balanced diet is very important for testosterone, but when it comes to androgen receptors, interestingly enough, protein intake helps to increase androgen receptors. Eating more protein can help your body to increase the activity or sensitivity of androgen receptors. High protein consumption, which correlates to around one third of total calorific intake, um, can help to decrease levels of sex hormone binding globulin while increasing your free testosterone levels and your androgen sensitivity. It can also help to control your insulin response. As a result, your body reacts by increasing the number of available androgen receptors. But balance is the key here. You know, care must be taken to avoid decreasing sex hormone binding globulin levels too drastically as this could have a negative effect. You know, so consuming too much is protein can have just as detrimental an effect as an effect as consuming too little. You know, not too much and not too little. And this sweet spot is going to be different for everybody. When it comes to diet, it is also necessary to ensure that we include all macros and micros in our diet. Consumption of fat and carbs is also fundamental to testosterone. Any deficiencies in our diet can lead to reduced testosterone. Diet is something that should be highly personalised and be, to be tuned in to our bodily organism. We all have different needs and there is no one size fits all diet that's going to suit everybody, despite what many nutritional influencers um, would have you believe. Now, connected to diet in a way, and this also has been proven to be very effective for boosting androgen receptors, is intermittent fasting. But there is evidence that suggests that prolonged fasting can have a negative effect on test total testosterone, but it seems that regular fasts can boost, uh, short-term fasts can boost androgen receptor activity. Now, when it comes to the data on fasting, it's conflicting and with various studies um, reporting conf contradictory results. I made a video about that, which you can find on my testosterone series um, on here. Now, the typical intermittent fast involves fasting for 16 hours during a 24 hour period. A fast one per, once per week is a good consideration to observe and very beneficial not only to our testosterone levels but has many other health benefits and you know a fast of once a week is going to help you maintain healthy androgen receptor levels another thing which is good for androgen receptors is the supplement l-carnitine 
Uh, research has shown that taking two to three grams of L-carnitine per day for three weeks resulted in, in increased sensitivity of androgen receptors. But when supplement, supplementing with L-carnitine, be sure to also supplement with a fat-soluble antioxidant such as vitamin E because L-carnitine can possibly increase the production of free radicals within the body. Fat-soluble antioxidants help to deactivate free radicals before they can cause oxidative stress within the body. Um, a good example of why we should always look at both the positives and negatives in anything related to nutrition so that we can counter any possible negative effects. This is the core secret to the well-balanced diet. You're balancing everything out. Another supplement which is beneficial to androgen receptors is ginseng. It's been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. It's known to be very beneficial to health and it is known to increase blood flow, uh, boost erection strength, boost circulation, aid cognitive function, functioning as well as having anti-aging, anti-cancer and anti-diabetes effects. It can help to lower your blood sugar as well. It's also beneficial to helping to improve androgen receptor sensitivity and helping to maintain healthy, balanced hormone levels. Now, ginsenicides and ginseng polysaccharides, which are the active ingredients, they upregulate androgen receptor mRNA expression levels, which promote testosterone. Panax ginseng in particular can be very beneficial to maintaining healthy levels of hormone receptors, which in turn ensures proper functioning of androgen receptors. This correlates to increased androgen sensitivity and this will help to ensure sufficient and consistent levels of free testosterone. Now I've got good testosterone levels and I've been using ginseng for decades. It really is. Um, a beneficial supplement for testosterone in many different ways. Good old vitamin D um, is also beneficial to androgen receptors because it's been shown to work directly with the endocrine system. Now we all know vitamin D is um, well known to be fundamental to testosterone. Vitamin D also has its own receptors throughout the body and these are linked to androgen receptors. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with inhibited testosterone production and inhibits the effects of testosterone on androgen receptors and has even been linked with directly causing low testosterone. It's not that um, vitamin D will increase your testosterone levels significantly, but having good vitamin D levels will help significantly more, it'll be significantly more beneficial in helping to prevent low testosterone. Now, it's also um, widely believed. Now, this is where the it kind of comes in that increasing your vitamin D intake is thought to um, increase testosterone levels because increasing your vitamin D intake increases androgen receptor activity. And um, the optimal dosage is somewhere between 800 and 2,000 UI per day. Beware also of the possibility of toxicity in higher doses. There's lot of, lots of advice out there online suggesting doses of 5,000 UI per day. This is a fat-soluble vitamin and excesses are stored within the body and can lead to toxicity if levels get too high. Now, sleep is important to androgen sensitivity. As part of our natural circadian rhythm, most of our testosterone is secreted at night and our testosterone levels naturally decrease during the night. Many studies have shown that sleep deprivation can significantly reduce testosterone production and result in reduced testosterone levels. Sleep deprivation has a corresponding effect in reducing androgen sensitivity. Now, capsaicin, which is an active element found in chilies and hot peppers, and I'm a great advocate of chilies and hot peppers, and why? Because they've been found to increase 
androgen receptor sensitivity. This is why eating spicy foods is also great for testosterone levels and it's also really great for the immune system and your circulation as well. Now, when it comes to destroying our androgen receptors, alcohol comes in at number one. Just one drink cause a reduction to testosterone in just 30 minutes, you know. Enough said there, so let's move on quickly. We all know not to drink alcohol um, anyway. Now, this last one is actually interesting, and um, I'm not a fan of semen retention or abstaining from sex, but, you know, just because I'm not a fan or an advocate of something does not mean to say that it doesn't have any benefits, and it has benefits, now, many guys don't want to hear this, but sexual activity, and I mean by this, I mean just one ejaculation, reduces androgen sensitivity. Every single time you ejaculate, your androgen sensitivity is reduced. Now, considering that many men fuck like rabbits when they're younger, over time, this could possibly contribute towards declining testosterone levels in older guys. But that is just speculation on my part, and of course further research is needed. But semen retention, which of course is claimed to boost testosterone, you know, it does, but it's only a short benefit to testosterone. But it's a fact that having too much sex or ejaculate, ejaculating too frequently can crash our androgen receptor levels. Semen retention increases androgen sensitivity. Now, this, of course, when you increase your androgen sensitivity, this in turn increases sexual desire. And this explains, of course, why so many guys relapse on semen retention. You know, sure, most men want to be seen by their woman as a guy that can provide sexual satisfaction. And it's commonly been perceived that a guy with a high sexual appetite is desirable. But one fact remains, ejaculating every day or even ejaculating multiple times per day is going to tank your androgen receptors. But there's more to this, and it's a case of balancing everything out. And I'm going to contradict myself here, because regular sexual activity and frequent erections are also known to, to promote testosterone production. The build-up of sexual desire is caused by the activation of androgen receptors, Abstaining from sex promotes this activation, resulting in an increased desire. Indulging in that desire too frequently, however, can cause deactivation of the androgen receptors, which in turn can have a negative effect on desire and sexual hunger, which is a vicious circle. The best approach is not too little and not too much. You know, everything, you should treat your entire body as an entire organism and balance, observe balance in all things. Now, many of our dietary choices can also have a negative effect on androgen receptors. Now, pr practically any well-known testosterone killing food, you know, all the shit, um, takeaway processed foods will also have a negative effect on your androgen levels, androgen receptor levels and their sensitivity. Now, eliminating those from your life is, you know, always a good, always a good idea. So if you want to optimize your testosterone levels, maintaining good levels of androgen receptor activity is going to be of great benefit to you. Subscribe to this channel and follow this series for more.